Hey, what's going on guys? Edward here with another video. This time, we're going to discuss what time, uh, what happened today, uh, Monday again, uh, with our strategy, with the diamond strategy, we will be able to see what's going on, what happened today, and was it really good, was it bad? Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and take a look. So basically, um, we're starting from the very top, uh, four hours, one day, you can see uh, starting on the US 30, and you can clearly see that the price pretty much broke below as of Thursday, Friday, last week. It broke below and it continued dropping massively, big, big drop after the news as well for last week. And the price was actually holding, like if I go on a daily, you would see that the price was actually able to hold in this support right here. So it stopped, right? Uh, this is how it looks in a four hour. So I'm gonna go on a 30 minute. I'm gonna go on a 30 minute and I will go ahead and, where is it here? I will, I will put my line here, 830 right here. This is where, where uh, when the market opened. Right, uh, based on the diamond strategy. So, um, I was telling you guys. I also sent you the analysis as well on um, on my Telegram group. Which, by the way, if you would like to join, go ahead. It's free. All the information I'm providing in there uh, every day. The analysis um, I'm providing over there is completely free. And uh, if you would like to join a mentorship that's coming up on the way. That's going to be on July. I will usually share the information there for the mentorship, the upcoming mentorship. For the moment, everything will continue be, being free, and I will be definitely continue showing everything uh, here on the channel. It's just the mentorship is just for the people who still want a little bit more, you know, who still want a little bit more of what I do, show you um, more, a little bit more in depth of what I do. Um, so anyways, this is what happened. The price was breaking the structures. Whenever you see this, the, the price is actually, you know, was after the big drop, it created this type of little resistance zone in this area. So whenever the price is coming back up, it's breaking the structures, right? So this is why I always tell you, look right here. The price started in a consolidation right here in this zone, then broke below retest it and then drop again right the price and then it started to push back up pushing back up pushing back up boom momentum candle broke very strong did this resistance right here so this is telling you okay price wants to keep pushing up now buyers are taking control now definitely big momentum candle so what do I, what am i looking for if i will see if the price whenever i see you know the first breakout I would have got in here if I was, you know, this was at 2, 2.30 in the morning. Of course, I was asleep. And so after the breakout, you know, I woke up somewhere around 5, 5 a.m. in the morning. So the price was somewhere around here, this area, when I woke up. So the price had already broken this level, right? So it started to consolidate, 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 consolidate. So I was sending you pictures and I told you guys that if we see a breakout of this i send you the lines right here possibilities are if you know if we see a breakout of this structure we'll go in for sale and if we see a breakout of this structure mini mini structure right here we're going for buys so the price did break above uh at around what time 7 45 a.m i was getting in here as soon as the candle closed i was getting in immediately on a on a small buy and i just i was just watching and then by the time the market opened, it did actually ended up flying, crazy flying. Uh, it did a little pullback, which I'm gonna show you if I move this. Look, the first 15 minutes, I hold it. You see why it's important to put your stop loss? I put my stop loss here below this level. So I just let it run. I was not watching it, I just let it run. I was then jumping into NASDAQ to see what I was looking. I will tell you what I saw on NASDAQ then, but I was aiming my take profits basically to this point. I was pretty much aiming to that, to that high. 
almost a little in this zone because I knew you know that there is some type of uh, zone right here I didn't want the price to come back at me if it did continue flying away I don't care if I missed the, the the additional pips in there I'm happy with what I take and that's what you should guys do as well okay try not to be that greedy and just compounding keep compounding your account all right if you have a small account that's what happened very good very beautiful entry with the us 30. on the other hand take a look what happened today with the nasdaq nasdaq was crazy it was actually very crazy at the moment however there was opportunities and i will show you I will show you what happened. Actually, I lost one entry on NASDAQ because I, I, I went a little bit more aggressive and I did an entry, a really uh, early entry, you know, hoping that the price was actually going to push up. But look what it price did, you know, big fake out right here on a one hour candle. The first hour it dropped massively, you know, cleaning stop loss or playing with your brains saying, oh, no, this is going to continue dropping. So, you know, I, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did and what I was seeing. The price was creating this nice flag pattern right here, bullish flag pattern. The price broke this structure right here, this level, which is a very strong level. So it broke it and then it started to come down. So what I usually do, this box that I drew right here, this is my Fibonacci show. So from the moment the price started to push up, which is right here to the top. So that's, this is my golden zone, all right? My, that's my golden zone. That's why I draw that, that little box right here because when I saw the price coming back in and then I saw this big, this, this candle right here, I was getting in already on a small. So what did I do wrong here that I lost this trade? My mistake, my mistake was to actually get in here without, uh, you know, I should have waited for the actual breakout. If I want to go for a buy, like I mentioned, if I'm, I'm, I'm my mentality, if I'm, my bias is buy, is to buy, I have to wait for the breakout. That's the safest way. Okay, you can still get in here. Like nobody's going to tell you you can't. I mean, you can. You can definitely do it. But the safest way is to wait for the breakout of this flag to get in. Okay, at least to uh, you know to wait for a candle to close above here, and then you can get in. All right, because I knew that I was on a, my Fibonacci. You know, my golden zone. I was also on a big support, so I was trusting pretty much everything here. And I did my entry there. I was I, I did immediately as soon as the candle closed. I did my entry there. I also sent you a message on my Telegram. I told you I'm on a small uh, I'm on a small buy on Nasdaq, and I was aiming to this high at the moment, right? So what happened? The price and then it started dropping immediately. It dropped and it dropped and it mounting and boom and it hit my stop loss. So. Uh, uh, this is on a 15 minute it looks like this on a 15 minute but i i also told you um that if i see a breakout if i see a breakout below in order for me to go for a sell if i see a breakout below the structure i will get in i could i could be getting in there aggressively that's what i actually did after the price touched my stop loss i got in immediately on a sell and I hold it. I did not put any stop loss. I just get in aggressively and I just waited for this candle to close. I waited for the, uh, the first five minutes to close because I, I, I tell to myself, because I know how the price moves, how the price reacts uh, on, on NASDAQ and US 30 at, at this time, you know, when the market opens. Uh, so I, I, ju I just went in aggressively and I just waited for the candle to close and I closed my entry around here. The price kept coming down a little bit and then came back up. So, so I did recover for my loss. For this loss, I did recover. I did get in aggressively. This is something that you maybe you should do as well. You know, if if it happens, like I did my entry, it was right. I mean, I was in the right point. I was definitely in the right point of entry because, like I mentioned, this this is basically a candle pattern. This nice three candles right here and touching my my uh, Fibonacci golden zone plus touching the, the the support zone this is it I mean I was I was right so 
But what happened? Fake out. That's going to happen every day. That's going to happen. Well, not every day, but that's going to happen. Look on now on a one hour. I also told you guys, it could we could be seeing maybe a big fake out at the moment, you know, then let's wait maybe for a 30 minute or one hour candle to close. And I told you, if I see the next candle closing bullish, like on a very uh, bullish engulfing candle, I'm getting in again. So I waited after I closed this one right here. I closed it somewhere around here for the momentum. So the momentum was actually dropping, right? So we took the advantage of those first candle. How many pips did drop from that moment? It dropped about uh, 99 pips. I mean, that's nice. If you were looking for sales at the moment, like I mentioned, my advice is to always take at least 60, 50 pips, sometimes even less, 45, 40 pips. But it was a nice drop at the moment, you know, by the time the market opened really momentum which is this is what it's about you know the diamond strategy to catch the momentum okay really quick really quick entry and boom quick profits close and you're out that's what you're looking for all right and anyways i actually other than that you know i waited for the price to actually retrace continue retracing and i waited this second candle and i got in here again so I knew that the price somehow was telling me, no, if if this level is able, I always tell you this as well, if this level is, say, if a support or resistance is able to hold very strongly, look at this rejection, the price didn't want it to go down. So if this level is able to hold that, I know this is a strong, this is strong definitely, so I'm going to be looking for buys. I already closed uh, most of my entries right from here. You guys know me, you know, you know how I do, you know, if I'm from here to here, I usually close my take profits halfway, which is, this is the next level right here. So the price could easily come back down. I'm already at this point, I am already uh, on break even on uh, one trade. I only have one trade open there. I don't care if at this point the price touches, I don't care. Like I'm not watching, you know, I'm doing other things. I'm just letting that run and see how it goes. Okay, uh, but um, that's it. I mean, the price, The it was a really good day today, definitely besides this big, weak rejection here. And uh, like I mentioned, just wait, be patient, guys, be patient. If you want to get in, in there, there was nothing wrong in getting in there. The price dropped immediately. Look, by the time the market opened, which is 8.30 right here in my country, boom, immediately the price dropped. And this drop got you 90 pips easily. So what you're looking for, what, what else are you looking for? Are you looking for 200, 300 pips? That's great. This is a massive drop that you would have caught here. Massive drop. Okay? Be humble. This is definitely a, 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 a you know, you cannot do this on a pair. You cannot do this on a pair. Daily, no. I mean, it could happen once a week. If, uh, once a week, you know, but usually, and we get this every day on, on NASDAQ and US study. So this is what is about this strategy. So uh, that was uh, pretty much it, guys, uh, with the NASDAQ and the US 30 today. NASDAQ was, the volatility was actually dropping at the beginning. Uh, on the other end, the US 30 actually was uh, pushing up pretty much from the very beginning. The first 15 minutes, it was struggling a little bit, maybe to retest the zone. Or try to get people confused right here the first 15 minutes that's when the market opened and then it started to push up then the next 30 minutes boom take profits and that's it the price kept going up now what's going to happen tomorrow what's happening now for the us 30 for tomorrow so basically the price is climbing up right now it has broken a new a strong a very strong um re resistance zone which was a support before so it's breaking up up so that means the price could be looking for new highs now. So definitely, we're going to wait until tomorrow to see how the price is going to do, what the price is going to be doing, right? So most likely the price will be, you know, just consolidating in the zone, bouncing up and down. Um, I don't think the price will break now, like right now. I don't think the price will break above this level. We'll have to see for tomorrow. But most likely we'll try to reach this level right here if I stretch this line 
we know that this is our next level right there. So the price, maybe today, the price may be dropping a little bit, maybe doing, maybe doing this, oh, maybe doing this, and then pushing up a little bit. Uh, what the heck? All right, like that. You know, there are some type of levels as well. Look at this small level right here. There was a small song. Here, there's another small song. So you gotta catch that. You gotta keep an eye on that. Just keep watching how what the price is doing. If the price is breaking this structure now, you can actually enter there and put your take profit here in this song. So if the price is creating, you know, uh, on ladders, it's like on an escalator, you know, it's creating new highs, it's a good sign the price will continue, will continue pushing up. So that's for, uh, that's for the US 30. Definitely, I think the price will be continuing uh, consolidating in this zone until tomorrow. If the, if tomorrow the price is somewhere around here or maybe here, I will be taking profits in this level, okay? Next level. So that's what we do. So level by level, from here to here to here, to, that's what we're gonna be aiming for. NASDAQ, the same thing pretty much could be doing because it's 2.52 p.m. Price is not going to be moving that much today. The price is touching this level right here. So we could definitely be having the price could today. It could be playing around. It could even touch my break even, which I think it will do. Um, and then for tomorrow, maybe be looking for new highs. But for the moment, this is how... This is how it's look. Oh, wait. Um, this is how it's looking. Let's say the price is touching there, so we could definitely have maybe another drop, consolidation, and then tomorrow we can see this. All right. So we can see a break down to that, to that high over there. Or it could even drop. I mean, let's see. I mean, you might think, oh. Eduardo, I'm seeing actually like some type of flag pattern right there. You know, a bearish flag pattern. I mean, it could happen. You can you can in fact draw it out, draw this line from there. Let's see. I don't know. Just an example. And you can be looking for sales, good sales, if the price breaks this below or break this structure below to continue down. Well, let's see how it's going. What's going to form from now until tomorrow? You just have to wait. Be patient. Alrighty, that would be all guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new on the channel, please subscribe, leave your thumbs up if you like this um, information, um, which is really helpful. And also follow me on my Telegram group. I public all this information, all this analysis every single day, very early in the morning before the market opens. Uh, thank you so much guys for being here. And take it easy guys.